Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Luke from Power Tribe Yoga. Are you looking to build core strength to help you deal with back pain? Well, this class has been designed to help you do just that. Let's begin in a tabletop position. Your knees underneath your hips, your wrists underneath your shoulders, your fingers are spread, your index fingers parallel and in line with each other. Let's bring some mobility into the spine here. So inhale, arch your back, look up, and exhale, round the spine, draw the belly button back. Inhale, arch the back, look up, and exhale, pull the belly button towards the spine. Look towards the belly button. Last time, inhale, look up. And exhale, round into your back, press into your hands. Inhale, return to a neutral position. Inhale your left leg out, straight behind you. Your toes pointed towards the floor, sending energy up through your left heel. Your hips are squared towards the floor, and now raise your right arm up and out in front of you, thumb pointed toward the ceiling. Inhale here, grow nice and long, and as you exhale, curl into a little ball, bringing your elbow towards your knee. Inhale out, extend. And exhale, pulling the belly button towards the spine, using the core, drawing into a tight little ball. One more time. Inhale, nice and long from your fingertips to your toes. And exhale, curl into a little ball. Inhale, extend. Place your hand down, your knee down, back into a tabletop position. Let's repeat that on the other side. So inhale your right leg out and back, activating your glutes, your quads here, sending energy out through your heel, toes towards the floor, and now the left arm out in front of you, thumb toward the ceiling. Inhale, grow nice and long, and exhale, draw your elbow towards your knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, curl in. Last time like that. Inhale out, exhale, strong in the core, curl into a little ball. Inhale, nice and long, length from your fingertips to your toes, and exhale, place everything down. Come to sit on your heels. Scoot over to your hip, place your feet flat on the floor, your knees bent and come to lie on your back. Inhale your knees up over your hips, your shins parallel, arms reach up to the sky and let's do dead bug pose. So as you inhale, extend the left leg out, the right arm back, and exhale back to center. The other side. Inhale, straighten, exhale back up. Inhale, point those left toes, and exhale back up. Stopping just short of the ground, not touching the ground with our fingers or our toes. One more on each side. And exhale, release. Place both feet down on the ground. Preparing to come to bridge pose. So making sure you can touch your heels with your fingertips. Place your hands flat on the ground. And as you inhale, raise your hips to the sky. 
as you exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Repeating like that, making sure your feet are about hip distance and parallel to each other. Making sure that you're tucking your tailbone as you press up, pulling that belly button towards the spine, and squeezing those glutes. Ten seconds left. And the last one. Good job. Come to lie on your side. You can support your head under your arm, or you can be on your forearm. Your right leg straight over your left leg, tightening your core, and let's do some leg lifts here. So this exercise is very good for building strength in the thighs, the hips, and the glutes. All the muscles that need to be strong, that need to be active, so that the lower back doesn't feel the need to come in and help out when it's not supposed to. That's how it gets injured. Last 10 seconds on this side. Flexing your toes towards your face. And roll over onto the other side. Left leg extended on top of the right leg. Making sure you're tucking your tailbone, pulling your belly button towards your spine, and let's begin on the side. Feeling the work in your glutes, feeling the work in your thighs. Stabilizing your body on your fingertips of your left hand. Ten more seconds. Good work. Keep it up. And rest. Let's come back over onto the other side. Coming into a clamshell exercise now, so bending your knees. Keeping your feet in contact with one another, and then just opening your legs up, separating your knees from each other. Again, pulling that belly button towards the spine, working very specifically into the side of our glute here. By strengthening these muscles that surround the spine, we help stabilize the spine, and so take pain out of that area. Five seconds left. Good, and come over onto the other side. Tailbone tucked, activated in the core, and let's begin. Working into the glute medius of our left side now. If it helps you, you can always take your hand onto that area of your body that you're trying to work and see if you can feel into that area. Final 10 seconds here. And release, come onto your bellies. We're gonna do some skydivers here, so activating your legs, pushing your feet into the ground, slightly tucking your tailbone, hands alongside your chest, and 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. If it helps you, you can feel back into your glutes just to make sure that you're not squeezing in your butt here. The work is coming from the lower back. Inhale up, lift the chest, exhale down. Keeping your hands off of the ground. Last five seconds. And release. Let's repeat that sequence one more time. So coming onto your back. Knees are stacked above your hips. Shins parallel to the ground. Arms up to the sky. And inhale your left leg out, your right arm back. And exhale, draw them back into the core. Your lower back is safely in contact with the ground. There should be no space under your back. Ten more seconds. One more on each side. Good. And release your feet to the floor. Preparing once again for bridge. This time you can take your feet out a little further so that you cannot touch your heels with your fingertips. Get a little bit deeper into the glutes. As we inhale, lift the hips to the sky, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, roll down the spine. Inhale up. Exhale down. Working to isometrically pull your feet towards the back of your mat as you squeeze into those glutes. Ten seconds left. And last one, inhale up, exhale down. Coming onto your side, side lying leg lifts. Tuck the tailbone, engage the core, and inhale your leg up to the sky. Feeling the engagement on the inner line of your leg, on the outside of your hip. Ten seconds left. Last five. And release. Come on over to the other side. Engaging the core. Inhale here. And as you exhale, lift the other leg up into the sky. Paying attention to your lower ribs here, making sure they're not popping out, but they're sucked back in. Activated core protecting the lower spine. Ten seconds left. Last one. And release. Come back over to the other side for clamshell. Knees bent, one foot stacked on top of the other. And inhale, 
Raise the top knee towards the sky and exhale, release. Good work, keep it up. Just a few more on the side. Five seconds left. And release, come over to the other side. Inhale here, set up your foundations and exhale, raise that knee toward the sky. And final few here. Last five seconds. And release. Come onto your bellies. Hands alongside the chest. Some skydivers here. Inhale, raise your chest, lift your hands off of the ground. You're more than welcome to stay here or for more of a challenge. Make sure that it's comfortable in your lower back. Press your hips into the ground. Extend your arms forward and exhale, pull them back. Do not do this if you have too much pain in your lower back. Instead, stay with the first version. With each exhale, pulling back. 10 seconds left, last few. One more. And exhale, move your way back into child's pose, providing a little release for the lower back. Inhale, roll up the spine, shift over onto your hip. Place your feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Come to lie on your back. Take your right leg over your left leg. Scoot over to the right side of your mat and let your legs fall over to the left. Taking your arms out into a T-shape. That's comfortable for your body. And just ending our practice here with a nice stretch into that lower lumbar spine. What's more important than getting your knees to touch the ground is making sure that your right shoulder remains in contact with the ground. So getting a nice twist into the upper back as well. Inhale back up to center. Uncross the legs, recross them the other way. Scoot your hips over to the left side of your mat and let your legs fall over to the right. If it's comfortable for your neck, looking out over your left fingertips. And inhale back to center. Extending your left leg straight onto the ground. 
inhale, take your right knee in both hands and just pull it very gently into the chest. You're more than welcome to flex and extend your toes here. Circle your ankles if that feels good for you. And then switch side. Draw your left knee into your chest, extend your right leg straight down onto the mat. And gently pull that left knee into the chest. Both knees into your chest, little massage for the back, rock slightly from side to side, and roll over onto your side, and come to sit cross-legged at the front of your mat. Thank you yogis, if you enjoyed that class, please share a comment, like the video, Subscribe on YouTube and follow on Facebook and Instagram.